humbled and honored to be here today. As I reflected on uh, coming here today, I realized I could be providing a tribute to those who fought here, uh, those who fell here, those who made the ultimate sacrifice. I speak to the Okinawans who got caught between the two battling armies of the uh, United States and Japan. I could talk to the in, in that tribute. I could talk to the specifics of the battle, about the order of battle, about how the battle waned and went back and forth uh, across the island. I could talk about those who suffered here, what they went through. But you know, that would be difficult because I was not here. It was obviously terror, uncertainty, chaos. There's hunger, there's thirst. Isolation and it's fatigue. I can talk about the significance of the battle, why it mattered here in the Pacific, and why it matters to us today throughout the world. But as you look around, it's not really necessary. This is Roll, this is the museum, this is place. I don't think it's necessary. It's also written in the annals of our, our books following pages of our, our history. Douglas MacArthur once said that uh, he's a famous general from World War II. Uh, he said once that a soldier, above all others, prays for peace. Is a soldier who bears and suffers the wounds and the scars of war. I've been coming to this island for 30 years. I spent time with the Okinawans, certainly the Japanese. And it's clear that it's not correct. The Okinawans suffer. This beautiful island still bears the wounds and scars of that war. This is a, a somber experience for me coming here. It causes me to reflect on my life and how I live it. It causes me to think that I need to treat others with better respect and dignity. It causes me to think about the future. And hopefully a future that's built in prosperity and peace. The alliance we have with the Japanese government between the United States and Japan is one of the strongest in the world. It's a foundation for stability in the region. It's an example for others to emulate. And I hope it creates a future, a future of peace for Americans, for Japanese, for open hours. Thank you, Bill, the USO and the American Chamber of Commerce for inviting open hour for inviting me here today. And thank you all. Thank you.